Well, we are very, very deeply concerned. We know what ISIS are capable of. We know that they mean business. When they want to take something, they go and get it. We have these reports of up to 200 or even more Christians who are in a, who've been kidnapped. And we know that they've been separated from men, from women and the children. And from my experience of the country, having been there myself and having traveled recently to Iraq and spoken to various uh, Christians who've escaped from Mosul, uh, that, that we really don't know what would happen for them. But we, we do in fact fear the worst in due course that may befall them. But at the time uh, of, of speaking, we're still trying to gather information about the situation. Tell us a little more about the area. Are we mm. talking about small villages where there's really no protection if militants want to come raiding? Yes, I, I, when I travelled to Hasaki, uh, I myself saw people playing in streets, very gentle local communities, who the like of which had been in that part of the world for many, many years. And it, it's, it beggars belief that in such a short period of time it should turn into a state like this. Do you think we're getting to a point where the community, the Christian minority, may have to consider leaving altogether? Well, yes, and we, the bishops from the area have, have told us explicitly that they see a remake of what happened in Mosul last year, where, of course, huge numbers of Christians fled to nearby Nineveh Plains and then from there fled to Kurdistan. So they're already in waiting for something of the same thing to happen with a mass evacuation to follow. We are talking about areas that have been largely Kurdish controlled. Mm. How much have Kurds been able to help these more vulnerable Christians? Well, the experience in, in Kurdistan is such that the Christians were very grateful that the Kurdish authorities were actually able to open the gates of the, of the community, as it were, to them. They were allowed access into that region. But it has to be said that the church is the only organisation, until, uh, especially in the earlier period, that was willing and able to help. And that's why, as a charity, we at Aid to the Church in Need are helping both in uh, Iraq uh, and, and in Syria, and particularly in And Osaki. what is it that you can do to help? Are you sending funds to help people to get out, or, or what else? Well, we're working with particular communities, um, authority, religious authorities and local superiors who are able to, to spirit in, if I can use that phrase, help where it's most needed. And it, it is the most basic of help. It's fuel, um, it's rent, accommodation, and in this case it'll be basic food uh, and, and shelter, and, and as well as medical aid, both uh, in Hasake and in Aleppo. We know that the situation is critical and we're desperate to help as much as we can.